What's going on, brothers? Northside G here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. We are back with another video today. In this video, I'm going over the background, bio, and information about Kaid or Cade, however you want to say his name. Um, from the year three, season four operators. Let's get into it. So first, this is what he looks like. Kaid. Yes, he is old. Yes, he is. So let's get into his loadout first, though. He has the AUG A3 submachine gun, assault rifle, converted to a 9mm submachine gun, possesses excellent range up for an SMG. And he also has the TCSG 12 shotgun, semi automatic shotgun with a 10 round magazine, optimal for CQP and is suppressor capable. Very big suppressor. Look at that. That's huge. Also, the kick on this thing is crazy. When you shoot it, it's almost like you're shooting a powerful DMR. It is very strong. Well, the kick is very strong. The secondary weapon of a .44 magazine semi-automatic handgun, high-powered semi-automatic pistol with a small magazine and a mounted lower power scope, and two gadgets of a barbed wire, razor wire that slows down attackers, and impact grenade, which is a grenade that explodes on impact. His headgear, this is his first headgear you get when you just get the character. And then this is the bone dry headgear you get with the season pass. And then you get this for 4,500, you know, wind bastion. His uniforms, this is his basic uniform that you get when you get the character. This is his season pass uniform. And then this is the one you can buy for 11,200 from the wind bastion DLC. His details, his details and statistics. Hmm. His Artilla Electro Claw. Electrifies reinforced walls and hatches, barbed wire, and deployable shields in its affected area. So basically, it's like this little Ella mine, but instead of being a mine, it has like this radius and circle around it, and anything that's metal, it turns into electricity. Like, it electrifies it. That's it. That's what his ability is. So he has high armor, which means he's slow. His operator name, which is going, we're going to get into his bio now. So his operator name is Jalal El Fasi, nickname Kaid, CTU, GIGR, date of birth, June 26th. He's 58 years old, that old ass bitch. Place of birth, Arumud, Ar, Arum, Arumd, Arumd, Morocco. I got it. Height, 1.95 meters and weight, 98 kilograms. Hmm, he's a little heavier than the other operators. Actually, press B. All right. His bio, background, lead by example, and the mountain will move. Jalal al Fasi was raised on the stories of a fortress, the legendary training facility in the Atlas Mountains. Its incomparable reputation, along with his famed Kaid's commander, were seared into El Fasi. He joined the GIGR, Royal Moroccan Gendarmerie, at 18, demonstrating natural leadership, leadership skills under fire. His ability to effectively command specialized squadrons in joint trans-Saharan counterterrorism initiative, the TSCTP operations, led to his promotion as captain. After years of service, the fortress's reigning commander chose his successor, El Fasi, whose authoritative but ethical style made him a worthy Kaid. His imposing presence and strict values led to success with his graduates, and the fortress quickly gained accolades. He further proved this, his excellence through the thousands of soldiers who trained or taught on its grounds. Over years of negotiating, he welcomed troops from across Africa and the Middle East, fostering stronger ties between the TSCP members and African standby force countries. Psychological Report Specialist Jalal Kaid El Fasi is an imposing operator. His appearance alone inspect, inspires respect. It's easy to see why his stature and demeanor strike fear in his students, or how his body language warrants their respect and cooperation without him even saying a word. Frankly, it's both daunting and fascinating at the same time. Specialist El Fasi descends from a long line of commanders and their fortress. The fortress was in disrepute for quite some time, however, some business involving bribes from wealthy families before El Fasi was at the helm. And it seems his administ administration not only eliminated those sordid dealings, but elevated the fortress 
to heights unimagined by any of his predecessors. It's been difficult separating Specialist Alpha C from his role. He sacrificed a personal life for the success of his fortress, and his role makes it difficult to, com to create interpersonal relationships. I suspect he prefers being alone. He certainly isn't the type to open up and share, but I think I understand why. He's taken it upon himself to guide and nurture the future of Moroccan Special Forces and potentially all of North Africa. He is the rock that all others look up to. So, Specialist El Fasi soldiers shoulders the brunt of that weight with equanim equanimity, equanimity because he believes nobody else can. Specialist El Fasi is particularly phlegmatic, phlegmatic and his dedication to his duty as commander and his fortress is resolute. Rainbow spent years trying to persuade him to join, but he is not easily moved. The fortress and his legacy were instilled in him as a child. It is his home, his castle, and I see the time he spends there in solitude is invaluable. But we finally managed to cut a deal with him, one that not even the great Kaid could turn down, one to improve his school and propel it into an international standing. This will be the first time El Fasi is among equals. Only time will tell how he reacts to not being in a position of authority. Training, Royal School of Gendarmerie in Marrakesh, Mar 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 Exercise African Lion, Counterterrorism Assistance Training and Terrorist Interdiction Program, the TIP, Relevant Experience, Royal Moroccan Army, Trans-Saharan Counterterrorism Partnership, Operation Enduring Freedom Trans Sahara. Notes Specialist El Fasi is something of an enigma with his character, his beliefs, and this pours over even onto his gadget. He is a traditionalist, in a sense, so he can be dismissive of Rainbow's more techno technologically inclined operators and their devices. It would also explain his close relationship with Specialist Baker, both of whom share not only many years of experience, but a wariness of relying on tech. The Artilla namesake comes from the El Fassi's love for those particular spiders found throughout the Moroccan, Moroccan mountains. The primitive and agile nature fascinates him, so these elements have been included in his Electro Claw. He is curious to see how many of Rainbow's members would perform or adapt without the high-tech aid. But when it comes down to it, El Fassi's device is much more sophisticated than the literally crude CED-1. He somehow managed to take a res resonant transformer and reduce it down to a beautiful compact package. Cedric and I would have been f would have had fun with this if we had taken it back then. If we had it back then. Specialist Dominic Bandit Bronsmeer. And that is the end of Kaid's background bio and information. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like always, stay healthy, stay sexy. And I'll see you guys in my next video.